Here's our Arby's Mayfield ceiling fan uh, in my aunt and uncle's bedroom. Uh, this is a fan is made by Litex. Um, the chains are pretty long on it for being a Harbor Breeze. So yay. So here's low. It's gonna be a fast low because it's a small fan. This fan kind of reminds you of a Hampton Bay Hawkins, but Hampton Bay Hawkins, not great quality. It's just like Hampton Bay Landmark 3. Three, but the one my aunt's bed, my other aunt's bedroom, um, is decent, is silent, and... The one thing is, it spins kind of slow and high. It's about low. Here's a low with a light. Here's medium. So it's kind of a decent amount of air in medium. Here's the light. Wobbles a little on high. I don't know why, but this is moving a decent amount of air on high. Here's the light. They originally had the CEC in the bedroom. Wait, so you spin down with the light. They were, yeah, so they basically had originally had the CEC in the bedroom, but unfortunately, the chain, the switch thing got off and I have to pull the chain from the side and instead of like normally. So they moved the CEC to the living room and put a, uh, just the Harbor Breeze Mayfield, not great, which basically replacing with cheap generic junk like this one. But although it moves a great amount of air on high. I'm not going to do reverse because it's a bowl light and I can't get my hand I might get my hand burnt in the light bulb. This is one thing about fans with bowl lights. Is that sometimes if you want to reverse it, you, have, you, you get, can get your hand burnt in the incandescent bulb. This is why fans with bowl lights, I like them better with LED. This bulb currently in there are incandescent. Which incandescent can be a fire hazard. Stop. So yeah. I'm going to put it back where I found it. Which is light off. Fan on low. That is it. That is a Harbor Breeze Mayfield ceiling fan. Thanks for watching.